Since 1944, the heart of World War II, only five teams have had winless seasons in the NFL. The 1960 Dallas Cowboys at 0-11-1, the 76 Tampa Bay Buccaneers at 0-14, the 1982 Baltimore Colts at 0-8-1, the 2008 Detroit Lions at 0-16, and most recently the 2017 Cleveland Browns at 0-16. We've never seen a team go 0-17. However, there are some teams that are currently on pace to do so. Obviously, it's very unlikely that it will happen. Only five teams have done it since World War II, since Hitler was doing whatever he was up to. No good, in my opinion. I was a, a jerk. Worst score like he's Abe Lincoln. That might be that might be my best line of all time. Just, I, I don't know. Could have been delivered better, maybe. But, just, whew. I got goosebumps. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Royal treatment could be good. You get bigger points on visitation. Visitation's not what I mean. That's like... <laughs> that's... <laughs> if there's a divorce and you might allow visitation to your ex-husband or wife. All right. That's not what I mean. Just visits is good. The cowboys who are indoors. But the lighting there is horrific. Because they're like, what if... You know how the sun is extremely strong here in Texas? What if we just, like, put a huge plane of windows throughout the stadium so the sun can shine directly through and blind everybody? Doesn't seem super wise. I mean, we're in a good spot right now. 31-17. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, my power didn't go out. It's had a power surge. And for the first time... It, well, it turned off the Xbox, funnily enough. But for the first time, I didn't lose my entire recording. I don't know. It just went... I, I don't know how much my reaction is going to be in there because when my monitor shuts off, it, like, freezes my camera. I'll leave it in uh, if I if I swore. Uh, sorry for swearing, right? You know, but... um, <laughs> uh, We'll see what that looks like, but we're going to have to jump back in here. We do have skill point upgrades, but I don't think we're going to be able to actually use them. Yeah, not enough skill points to purchase this bucket. So, they're so bad that they cannot even be upgraded a little bit. There's such a low overall that the game's like, we don't know what to do. It's They're going to be bad forever. They're beyond salvation. Why are you even trying to upgrade a 12 overall? And it's a good question. I have no idea because I'm an idiot. I'm sick in the head. I have no clue. And we also signed Olisa Mecha Udo, who is giving a, the camera a crazy face. I mean, I, I don't know what he's seeing, dude, but hopefully it's not ghosts and he's able to handle a pass rush. We're finding some decent defensive tackles. Andrew Elliott and Carl Pierman appear to be the two best two. A Pierman to be. <laughs> I think he's going to be a great player. I know round one to two talent could be better, but the athletic tools raise his ceiling. 91 strength, 78 speed, 79 acceleration. I think he's going to be a great player. And just from looking at his head, he looks very strong. Going to be a tough guy to move. <laughs> Good pick. Last week was not the result we were looking for. I'll start with that. If you didn't see that episode, there are some gems in there. Go check it out. But I had a good hard look in the mirror, and I had a couple of thoughts. The first was, man, we got to work on all this. It's not great. But second thought was... How do we get this Falcons team in winning shape? Ritter took a shot as well. That ball was a duck coming out. But a different type of bird gets into the end zone. It's not a duck. It's a falcon. That that felt pretty forced, actually. But, wow. Concussion. That's the type of stuff that doesn't show up on the stat sheet. Troy Henderson. Bringing down the goofball. Jared Goff. Oh, got the arrow. Was he Robin Hood? Troy Anderson taking from the rich to feed the poor, which is us in Atlanta right now. And uh, there's no one more wealthy than the goofball. That guy makes $40 million a year. I don't even think that's an exaggeration. He's making Daniel Jones money, and that's like that's tough. Jared Goff, average salary, 33.5. So not quite Daniel Jones money, but that makes sense, obviously. Daniel Jones, what, top two or three QB in his own division? We got a little dance routine going on, maybe? No, Bijan just letting them know. High fives all around for the boys. Also, the fact that the high five was invented in the 1970s, I can't even wrap my brain around that. Just doesn't really even make any sense to me. Like, how 
how? And that just seems like something that's been around forever. But like, even hello, a weird tangent. That's just, welcome to the channel. But even the saying hello, that seems like, oh, that's been around for billions of years. <laughs> All right, maybe not that long. But no, when the phone was invented by Alexander Graham Bell, they wanted a, a saying when you picked up the phone. I forget what the first one was. It didn't work out. But they ended up settling on hello. So before the phone was invented, people just weren't saying that. It was like top of the morning and shit. I don't know. AJ Terrell, nice rap. That's what I said upon my first time listening to some Eminem tracks. London Stadium for the first time in the, uh, in the league year. And we'll see what happens. Last year... I broke out some real bad English accents. Will that happen in this video? Haven't had enough to drink today. But it's never too late to start. Could happen, depending on how this game goes. They're gonna try a field goal. This is not an easy one. And these British fans would know a thing or two about kick, huh? <laughs> Just like, I think we had something at the start there. And then, uh, <laughs> I was, it almost sounded too good to me. I had to make it even worse. Big turnover, and now Desmond Ritter and the offense will take the field. Boy, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick a fucking broadness. Terrible, I know. Second and ten. Give London a chance. Drake London in London. I see London. I see France. I see Trevor Lawrence underpants. Well, I, I don't want to do that, but doesn't matter. Touchdown. And uh, of course, the Brit. Well, we don't actually talk like that. You know, I don't actually give a fuck, isn't it? Oh no! A hold. Dowie. Back to the 26. Idiots. Third and two for the Jags. They're gonna run the football. And wow, look at the speed! I don't know how Etn got caught up. Did someone have a Travis Etn voodoo doll? They just threw it to the ground. What even happened there? He got past the diving Calais Campbell, no? Oh, Campbell got his, the, maybe his heel? <laughs> Absolutely mental, isn't it? Right, more in it. That's how you do an authentic accent. <laughs> if he doesn't have really good strength after setting the deadlift record at Utah, and it is Utah, right? But they got that Mormon pent up soak strength you know what i mean that's tough chris lindstrom was just looking around like that john travolta meme from a uh, uh pulp fiction just... block somebody please I i'm hitting it so lightly it's overreacting please dude let me let me just grab it and then lacks discipline resulting in avoidable penalties or whatever at that point maybe we get you know, a roughing the passer every once in a while. Put the fear of God in the opposing quarterback. And that's what Dante Boston has the potential to be able to do. This is going to be a hold. I want to say I came in late and, and lit up Kyler Murray, but not called. It's the former Giant and UTEP minor, Will Hernandez, and also regular minor. He was below 18 once, I'm sure. We are only up by eight. I'd love a turnover. Wilson. What? Who is on my field? This is not my defense at all. Who is on the field? What is happening? Time out. I, I have to. I have my offense on the field. On my defense. All right. My defense is back out there now. I should have called a timeout before the snap. I mean, what a disaster. Maybe this is why... My defense can't get a stop because my defense is my offense. We have a full team of two-way players and we're going to break out some cool uniforms against the Saints today. I'll tell you that. And here we are. Look at this showdown. There's something about this like weird outside of the game. What is this place <laughs> in the showdown that reminds me of Assassin's Creed when particularly uh, Ezio kills somebody and you go to this weird place outside of the actual reality and they have a nice little conversation so that's what we need today we need desmond ritter to be the assassin and he needs to stab Derek Carr until he bleeds out and then Derek Carr is like uh i wanted to be good and then ritter's like uh eh, you weren't though and then closes his eyes and says resquiat 
uh, uh, Resque Escot Empache. Ah, I screwed it up badly. I think it Resque Escot. That just sounds odd, though. Anyway, these are the uniforms we're wearing. As the ramblings of a madman will cease here in a moment. We're gonna roll out here, looking for something I like. It's gonna be Desmond Ritter diving to the pylon, touchdown. Maybe Ritter's walking out like he's the man for a re well, he's dancing like not. We intercepted by Jeff Okuda. He got inside on Traquan Smith. Pause. What? And when you look at our offense with with Bijan Robinson wearing number seven. Kyle Pitts at eight, Ritter at nine. Why was six afraid of seven? It starts to become a lot clearer. Is that, is that one too involved? Find the end zone. Drake, London, into the end zone, touchdown. We were patient. We found the right receiver. Is he playing video games with the football? I don't know. I don't know what this celebration possibly could be. What could it be? I have no idea. Anyway, 